Good morning and welcome to another episode of the Maserati Guy. Today I'm taking the Gran Turismo into Maserati service in Roseville. Um, they're going to look at the starting issue. So I thought, let's see how it starts this morning. Started okay. It's kind of weird. Anyway, there's definitely something not quite right with it. So, and they seem to know what it is, or they think they know what it is. So, we'll take it over there and let them do their magic. You may recall that I mentioned this quite some time ago um, when I got the paint protection done, and. Um, uh, yeah, what was happening was that if the car was left for a day or more, um, then the first time you went to start it, it would splutter and cough and then, you know, kind of get going and fire properly. Then any subsequent times you started it during the day, it would, it would start fine with that nice, you know, blip on the revs to kind of get it going. So I can demo I've got a couple of videos here of it doing it, so I'll show you those. It doesn't make, doesn't make a lot of sense to me. I was a bit concerned that we could have been ending up going down a, a very deep rabbit hole and a bottomless pit of money to try and diagnose it. So I'm afraid I went, decided to go to um, the Maserati service center for this particular job because it's, you know, it's kind of a, could be very expensive otherwise. Are we school zones in force now? I have no idea. Maybe we are. <laughs> in Australia, we have school zones where at certain hours of the day, speed is restricted to 40 kilometers an hour, but I'm not sure that we're technically back into school term since the, since the uh, Christmas holidays. But anyway, best to be on the safe side. Other people are doing it, so I should do it. One of the good things about going to one of these posh service centers is that you get a loan car. So um, it'll be interesting. It'll probably be something nice. Um, so whatever it is, we can do a little bit of a review. <laughs> First drive of blank car. Okay, so that was absolutely amazing. They've got this incredible state-of-the-art service facility there, which is absolutely breathtaking and I took a few video clips and uh, I'll show you those right now Wow it's just incredible Everything's so clean. It looks clinical in its precision. It's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And they've got, um, as you can see, they've got some. So they've got a load of modern cars. They've got they've got classics. Um, very very impressive. And so, what am I driving? They've given me a loan car. A brand spanking new. Alfa Romeo Giulia. I'm not quite sure which variant this is. It's not the it's not the top of the range sporty one, but it is absolutely brand new and very well. First impressions. It's great fun. Build quality is excellent. It's got this um, infotainment screen here. Has kind of it's it's bezel this it just is like one sheet of angled glass which has the display kind of built into it it's not bad for for a for a loan car the guy said <laughs> actually it's funny the guy said i'm sorry we don't have a maserati for you okay, okay. all right 
I'll let you off this time. But we do have a brand new Alfa Romeo, so. So I just picked up the Maserati from uh, the service center and uh, glad to say they didn't find any faults with it. They believe that the starting issue is actually a, it's a well-known issue. Um, it's quite interesting. Um, it's not 100% convincing, the answer, but they say it's a well-known issue. Um, there's no resolution for it. The only thing you have to do is start, start it once and stop it and then restart it and it's absolutely fine. Um, so it's an interesting issue. Um, I'm not entirely convinced that there's no solution. I'll tr I'm going to try and get to the bottom of this, but um, they've confirmed that there's absolutely no fault with the car, which mean which is good because it means there's no, you know, there's no huge amounts of money to spend on diagnosing, um, which is great. Um, they've also brilliantly managed to fix the rattle that has been coming from behind the dashboard. Um, which is something that's been really annoying, but which is now fixed, which is fantastic. Um, it was kind of coming from behind the radio, um, strange plasticky rattle, and I think it was a mounting clip for the radio, so they were able to take that out and refit it, and um, the noise has now gone. Yay. That makes a huge difference, actually. It makes a huge difference to the to the ride quality and the comfort, so that's good. So I'm pretty happy. I want to get to the bottom of this, um, uh, the, the, the starting issue. It's apparently a feature of, or a, you know, a, a fault of, in, in, a, in a small proportion of cars, it's a well-known issue, um, but they don't seem to be able to know, to find out why it does it something about the two cylinder banks not being in sync when it starts or something very strange but anyway they've confirmed it's no f no faults so i'm prepared to leave it at that for the time being if i if i find out any more information i will i'll let you know definitely going back there to have services done in future i mean that that is the most amazing um, facility um, really quite astonishing. So thanks very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Um, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Maserati Guide 2017 on Facebook um, slash dot com slash Maserati Guy. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. And I'm going to put on the sport mode and enjoy a bit of a blast.